All right, guys, so welcome into the Lego section of haul video number 90. Um, very excited to go over this stuff with you guys. Uh, a lot of these sets were stuff that I was um, planning on getting for a while, kind of held myself back and um, went ahead and bought some because there were some promos that were going around for Lego. So decided it was a good time to kind of cash in and pick these up. Um, also, considering that these sets have not gone on sale since like now, so um, means tells me that they're probably not going to go on sale for a while. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I had, I had a low battery mode come across my phone, but um, yeah, so we'll go through these here. Starting with some poly bags, I went ahead and picked up from Target.com actually. Um, some that I couldn't pick up because they're part of promos and just didn't feel like spending the money to get a little poly bag. Um, so the first one here is the Lego 30389 Fuzzy and Mushroom Platform. So uh, for all these, I did pick up two of them. So one to keep sealed, one to build. Obviously, um, my poly bag collection's growing ever, ever so much or ever so slowly here, but um, really getting a lot of nice poly bags here towards the end of the year, which is nice. But uh, yeah, this will be a cool one to have in the collection. This one I also picked up. Uh, this was the uh, Hermione poly bag. Uh, it comes with a desk and the owl and then obviously the Hermione ca uh, character. So uh, this one was a gift with purchase for I think purchases of Lego Harry Potter of $40 or more. Um, I think that was going on in October or November. Um, so yeah, anyways, was able to pick this up and uh, again, got another one to keep sealed. And uh, this will be nice to build because my girlfriend actually has the, I actually bought her the Lego, the Harry Potter one that came with like the table. So this one would be very nice to put next to it as well with Hermione. All right. Um, some other stuff I bought here. Sorry if I hit the camera there. Um, first off here, the reason why I went ahead and bought some of the other sets I want to show here uh, was because of this promo here. So I do have two of these. So I bought one with the purchase, got it. I'm going to build this one. And then the other one I'm going to keep sealed. Um, so the coffee shop, pretty nice build actually. Um, comes with two minifigures, a bike, you know, a nice little stand there. So really nice gift of purchase. Um, yeah, so excited to get this. And obviously having two of them. Um, initially this was the one I was going to take home to get to be sealed, but as you can see, stupid me, or maybe this was packaging, I don't know, um, dented the top of the box. So we're going to open this one and then keep the other one that's, uh, immaculate condition sealed. So. Uh, yeah, I can't believe I'm slowly becoming this like sealed so, sealed Lego stuff on. Not really, actually, but um, yeah, so that's that. This next one I bought with my uh, Immortal Hulk hardcover. So I can, I was like a dollar away, a dollar fifty away from free shipping. So I went ahead and bought this because this set was on sale. Um, and it is the Lego 60300 uh, Wildlife Rescue ATV. So this is a cute set. I got it for like $8. Comes with a minifigure, a little drone, an ATV, and then uh, most notably the uh, two new monkey molds, which I think were introduced this year, if I'm not mistaken. But um, yeah, very nice little build here. The drone's a pretty pretty nice addition there as well. And uh, yeah, we'll give this a build. Very excited to get that. Just a little another tiny set to kind of have in my collection. So eventually one day when I get around to making an actual Lego city in a space that I can actually afford to do that, um, I can include all these little vehicles in there as well. So, uh, the next set I bought here was a speed champion set that I saw on Amazon for 20% off. And sure enough, all of the August, 2021 speed champion sets have gone on sale. So if you're interested in picking those up, um, I would suggest either target or Lego, or Target, Amazon, Walmart, all of them have them for 20% off, essentially. Um, went ahead and picked up the one that I actually had the poly bag for that came out earlier this year, and that is the um, McLaurin uh, Elva Speed Champion set. So I got this for $16. Uh, initially, it was being sold for $20. Uh, you can see here at the back. What I like about, most about this is obviously the open top. And the individual uh, like chair cushions kind of for the, the the section. I think that's a really nice detail that isn't really seen in a lot of these other um, uh, Lego Speed Champion sets. Now, granted, going from the eight going from the six stud wide to the eight wide eight stud wide format has definitely allowed them to get some more details. So 
Um, yeah, very excited to get to get this and still debating whether or not I want to pick up the other two. I just don't really have much interest in those, but um, we'll see. Maybe if there's another great sale on them, I'll end up picking them up. But um, for right now, I'm okay with just having this one. All right, so the next one again was a Lego Star Wars 2021 August set that uh, came out and was a little overpriced to begin with, so patiently waited. Sure enough, it's 20% off now, and that is the Lego 75310 um, Duel on Mandalore set. So this comes with the Ahsoka Tano from the uh, AAT set that came out last summer, and also a new Darth Maul minifigure. Uh, comes with a throne and a little containment cell there, but um, yeah, this set's definitely worth $16. It's not worth $20 in my opinion. Um, you know, just not a significant enough bill for me to justify spending $20 on this. But uh, you can see here the back. The, the minifigures are great, I will say. But uh, aside from that, not really much else to say here. But uh, yeah, so I got this from like uh, Target, actually. So if you're interested in picking this up for 20% off, definitely suggest picking it up um, at Target. Okay. This set over here that I picked up um, was actually at TJ Maxx. So <laughs> my girlfriend and I were actually out shopping on Friday for Christmas. We were getting some stuff for, you know, our, um, you know, our fan friends and family and stuff like that. And I uh, was looking in the toy section of TJ Maxx and you never know what you're going to find, right? Um, I found a couple of stuff like retired sets there sometimes. It's always a crapshoot, right? And uh, ended up finding a set that recently came out this year. For 20% off, and that is the Lego 31122 Fish Tank. So, really love this set. Um, really cool display piece. Very much <laughs> lending itself to referencing um, Finding Nemo. You have, obviously, the same type of fish kind of in this scene here. But, um, yeah, obviously, I'm going to opt for the Fish Tank. I'm not going to build the other two. I mean, they, they are nice, but they're just not as good as the Fish Tank, obviously. But... Um, one thing to note with this fish tank is that it obviously doesn't have glass, like clear, like panels going around at all. It's just the illusion of the fish tank. But regardless, to be able to pick this up for $24 instead of 30, I think is good. 30 was a little too expensive for me. So wanted to wait. And these creator sets at this price range always, almost always go on sale. Um, so that's why I wanted to wait and get it for a cheaper price. So um, there's that for uh, another set to pick up and, and build in the collection here. All right, getting into some of the bigger sets here. Um, I'll end with that one because I want to show that one last. But picked up two sets here, and um, I, I, you know, I was um, very much debating picking these up. Um, you know, I, in my opinion, one of these is pretty overpriced. The one I'm going to show next is pretty overpriced. But again. Both these sets I got because um, I got the coffee cart promo. So that's why I went ahead and bought them. I saw extra value in picking those up. Not to mention that I also got 5%. I'm going to get 5% back on them anyway because I have the VIP program. So that's kind of how I justified it. Uh, and these are just two sets. I don't anticipate going on sale anytime soon because they're just too iconic, right? Um, so first one here is the Darth Vader Meditation Chamber. So, again, uh, this is the one I think is, is overpriced. Seventy dollars for this, I think, is very, very overpriced. They could have definitely got, sold this for sixty and still made a profit. Um, but this is the premium product, right? This is the eighteen plus line. Um, Lego is targeting a specific audience with this set, and I think with that they can jack up the prices a little bit more because people who are buying this have the money to spend, including myself. Um, <laughs> But you can see here the details. So this is going to go really nicely with your Darth Vader helmet if you have that. The Bespin dual set that came out last year. Um, the uh, dual on the Death Star 2 if you have that as well. My plan is to put this along with the Bespin dual set and the uh, dual on, on the Death Star 2 together. Kind of as a collage. Um, right now I'm staring at my Vader castle and Darth Vader bust. But um I have a lot of Vader at Vader centric uh, Lego sets now in my collection, so I had to split them up somehow. But um, yeah, very excited to get this. Uh, 
This does come with the Vader that has the shoulder printing. So Lego, for some reason, just picks when and where they want to have the shoulder printed uh, Darth Vader. So they took it out of the Imperial shuttle from the, this year, but they included in this set the Bespin dual set and the um, uh, dual on Death Star 2 set. So really random, but regardless, very nice set. Um, you know, so we'll get this a bill at some point and just love the display piece too, right? Very, very much looks, you know, lines up very much blends and goes together with your helmet sets. So very nice design there by Lego. So that's that set. The last set I bought here was one that, um, once I saw it was released, I had to have it and I'm so glad I picked it up. Um, and that is the Lego Infinity Gauntlet. So again, Patiently waited for this to go on sale, and once I saw that that coffee shop promo was happening, the threshold was $65, this was $70, I figured, let's go ahead and pick this up. And um, <laughs> for the longest time, I've actually had a section in my comic, like, cubby area here, designated for the gauntlet, so um, it's going to go right next to all my Thanos comic books that I have. Um, the OGNs and, like, the Thanos Imperative, stuff like that. So we'll give this a build at some point. Very excited to see there's a snap in the finger. I do intend to position mine in that uh, orientation, but um, yeah, this is $70, 590 pieces. I would say this is a little overpriced as well, but again, it's the gauntlet, it's iconic, it's something that I think every Lego Marvel fan should have in their collection. Um, yeah, this is just a great set, and I'm so glad I was able to pick one up and uh, we'll get this a build so. There's the side of that and uh, the back. So, Woo! sorry, I sneezed. Woo! Oh God, I feel like I, I've sneezed so much on camera. It's not even a joke at this point, but anyways, um, yeah, so there's that. And um, that is my whole Lego haul for this week, guys. A lot of stuff I've been accumulating and just wanted to kind of show it all off at once, but um, hope you guys enjoyed this section of the video and uh thanks for watching this part